feel it for the first time Been thinking about you all night I've been searching for this all my life So I can't even believe I'm doing this, but this is my first ever video and I hope it goes well. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how I found my first year at medical school. I study at Auckland University, which is in Auckland in New Zealand. I know a lot of you out there are wondering, is medical school worth it? Is this what I want to do? Or maybe you have been accepted and you want to see, just get the hype, just, ex you know, live vicariously through somebody else and yeah. So I'm going to get into it. I am a postgraduate, so that means in New Zealand that I completed a degree first and then I got accepted into medical school. Uh, in New Zealand, when you apply for medical school, you can be an undergraduate, so you can apply after after the first year, which is a competitive kind of pre-med year. It's either called Health Science First Year, as it is in Otago, or Biomed in Auckland, as well as Health Sciences in Auckland. Because I studied at Otago, I did Health Sci First Year. Shout out if you're doing that, if you've done it, um, if you survived, <laughs> it's a good time, but sometimes it's not as well. So basically I did my full degree in Otago and I'll talk about that in another video what it was like to get in and how I why I wanted to do medicine and that will all be discussed later. But essentially I applied as a postgraduate to Auckland um, probably it was probably last year. It's Everything's kind of come full circle because it's been a year since I was sitting right in this position, kind of checking my emails and doing all that jazz. So essentially I applied to Auckland and it was around this time where my interview for Auckland was. There's no interview in Otago, there is an interview in Auckland. And there are multiple mini interviews and they'll ask you a question and you talk about that question. I'm displaying that you have a good perspective of the health system, that you're, you know, unbiased, that you can see both perspectives or multiple perspectives, and really just displaying your character um, in the interview. And so that's what I did, and I had pretty good grades. I was quite confident, but because I'd been declined from medical school before, I was a bit nervous. But then I got the letter a few months later. I got the email, should I say, and then I got the letter to say that I'd been accepted into Auckland Medical School and I was ecstatic. I could not believe that I'd gotten in. I was really torn because I was studying in Otago for three years and I'd gone through some things in my personal life and I honestly just wanted to keep continuing living in the South Island of New Zealand. Otago is in Dunedin. So I felt really confused about moving up to Auckland. I was leaving behind a flatting situation with my mates and I was so sad to say goodbye to my great group of friends because none of them would be in Auckland with me. Within the first few weeks, I made two really great friends that I was really close to. And then I made another two really good friends. And I'm still good friends with both groups now and a whole bunch of more people. If I had to recap this year, I would do it in a series of points. So first of all, I'm going to talk about personal growth. I feel like this year, I got my mojo back. Um, people who are doing pre-med, trying to get into med, wherever you are in the world, I think this is relatable. Um, you spend a lot of time on your studies and you spend so much time that you on your studies that you don't really get to develop yourself and find out who you are and how you do things. I mean, you don't really get time to do your other interests. And so this year I was able to get back in the gym. I was able to volunteer a lot more, get involved with my faith. That's been really integral for me this year. And so what I do and how I do it. And one thing that kicked it off was amongst the first month, 
a lot of societies at medical school say you know sign up for you know the dermatology interest group but then this other kind of opportunity arose which was asking for class reps and you could be on Auckland University Medical Students Association and there was two and I was like okay if there's two it's a bigger chance and being a postgrad I had a bit of a disadvantage because I hadn't done pre-med with a lot of the first years um the people who made it through first year I will refer to them as first years so it doesn't get confusing but we're all in the same year for medicine and I thought because the first years don't know me they're gonna think who is this like old person I know that is so stupid <laughs> but I've thought that they would think who is this old person like why is she running for class rep but anyway I got it long story short and I am class rep with another guy, Travis, shout out Travis. It's a really unique experience for me because of being on UMSA and it also just allowed me to develop my leadership and just see what I'm really capable of. Another thing I got to do is perform in med review. So um, if you don't know, a review is basically a satirical comedy. Thanks Wikipedia. And it's basically a theatre production where we make fun of ourselves, we make fun of other people, like engineering and law. It's just this awesome experience. It's um, a theatre production and it's so cool because you might never get the chance to, you know, sing, dance and act to the same level again or when you leave formal learning. So it's really cool and I encourage people to get amongst it and be a part of it. I actually played a postgraduate student, so essentially myself, but the next part is not myself. I was an ex-stripper because that's how I paid for my student loan. It was such a good time. So good. <laughs> the other thing that I want to talk about is academics because a lot of people say, oh, once you get into medical school, it's like easy, smooth sailing, C's get degrees. Like, okay, I don't know if it's just me, so please comment or let me know. But whoever said medical school is easy was lying. Okay, they lied to me. I, they I fully, they, they fully lied. Uh, that's all I can say. Because it's not easy. It's a lot of hard work even to pass just because there's so much content. It's really difficult. And chances are you've got other things going on in your life. You're not just studying all day, every day. You do other things. You have your own interests. So with all of that going on and an incredibly crazy workload, it's hard to stay on top of things. In Auckland, we have to stay on top of the content all the time. I know some unis, they have like big exams at the end of the year that assess the whole year's content. But in Auckland, we're examined after each module. And each module's maybe about a month and a half long, so six weeks long, let's say. And you'll have a kind of anatomy test for it, and then you will have an exam for that module. And then you also have the year is sort of sprinkled with like other, with other assessments, um, you know, ranging from ethics to cultural competency, which you have to do and stay on top of, of course. And you have these successive modules going on and then you also have a big overarching subject for each semester. So it is a little bit tricky to stay on top of everything. But I can honestly say I probably prefer this way to having big exams assessing the whole year's content because it's really tough. <laughs> so if you're doing that, I feel sorry for you. I feel for you. Um, that's all I can say. And I also feel like everybody expects um, that, oh, you're a postgrad, you'll be able to do this, you know, you majored in physiology. Okay, I did major in physiology, so yes, the physiology concepts are relatively simple for me to understand. Um, but the thing is, I did physiology to such a level that will never be covered in medicine. And I did anatomy to such a level um, like cellular anatomy that won't really ever be covered it's useful information of course and I enjoyed it but you get to a stage in a, in a pure science degree where you become so specialized that it's no longer clinically relevant and I think that's that's the best way to explain it no knowledge is wasted though um 
and people I think the only difference between a postgrad and a first year student is that postgrads maybe have a bit more life experience. I think we've just had a longer time on the earth and so we know ourselves maybe a little bit more. That's it. The people that got in through first year are really intelligent themselves. So there's no difference. You're not at a disadvantage if you're a postgrad or if you're at a first year level. It, do it doesn't matter. If you got into medicine, you deserve to be there. And that's it. Socially, I mentioned this briefly before, it was really hard for me to leave Dunedin. My cohort was not what I expected at all. You know, I expected them to be nice, but not this nice, you know. Like, the people in my year are so genuine and so lovely. I think the big thing for me was how accepting my class is of everything. You know, different religions, different cultures, different ways of life, different perspectives. And the reason why I love it so much is that my cohort is a representation of what New Zealand is like. And the fact that we will be doctors and we will be professionals in the workforce, um, the more diverse we are, the more we can better represent the public. And I think that is a win-win for healthcare. The other thing I've done this year, which has nothing to do with medicine, is get back into my fitness and just, you know, get to a personal best in lifting um, and overall health. And I'm super grateful that I got the chance to do that. This year, the uni gym was amazing because I could just go in and see all my classmates <laughs> in our breaks. Um, and when we were done for the day, that was super cool. And really launch my Instagram properly. I've for a long time wanted to launch an Instagram that spoke about science and spoke about fitness in a way that people could understand. And that was evidence-based. Because I think there's a lot of myths around and no one really talks about how it's not true or why it's not true or why something is true. Recently I decided I wanted to start a YouTube channel to be able to talk and have these conversations, you know, just have a yarn. So the reason why I'm doing this is to help people that were in the same position as me and maybe have the same questions that I had covering medicine and all things health and that's what this channel is about and also my connected Instagram. If you liked this video and if you want to know more, feel free to stick around, give it a cheeky like, and let me know what you think. Honestly, I just wish you all the best in what you might be doing. If you are going after a goal, like getting into medicine, I wish you all the best because you are capable of doing whatever you dream of. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. You can absolutely do it and you can absolutely achieve it. If I can do it, anybody can. Thanks so much for watching.